Welcome to Nashville Lex, everybody. I'm Barry Drigger. Hope you had a great Christmas and ready for a great new year. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm in my studio and I got the trusty Martin HD 28, which you've seen in some of the videos. And I'm going to record an acoustic track for a song that my wife wants to sing, Lacey J. Dalton's Black Coffee. It's a great song. You should check it out. It's from uh, mid to late 80s, I think. At any rate, uh, I have quite a few microphones but i thought what i would do is i take the mic tech which is actually assembled in nashville tennessee uh, it's a multi-pattern large diaphragm condenser microphone it has omni cardioid and figure of eight and i thought i would put that up against my neumann tlm 103 one of the most popular microphones out there now the neumann is only cardioid which is fine i have them both in cardioid and I have the capsules as close as I can get them together. Um, this is by no means an extensive video on how to mic an acoustic guitar. I actually use an over-under technique that I really like. And maybe I'll show you that if you guys like it. So uh, we're going to do a pass on this song. And if you're interested in either one of these microphones, the one, the mic tech that I have is older. It's the version one, but they still sell them. If you look on Sweetwater or your local distributor, I'm sure you'd be able to find them. Um, so I'm going to sit down here with Pro Tools. I got it rocking, ready to go. And if you'd like, shoot me an email. My email's in the description and I'll send you the raw tracks if you would like to hear the difference, if you do hear a difference between these two mics. I mean, the TLM... I don't know what it retails for in the States, but I'd say probably $13.99, somewhere around there. And the Mic Tech retails for $8.99. So the Mic Tech's a little bit cheaper, but it gives you the ability to have those other patterns. And that's really handy if you just want to get together and capture everybody, or if you want to do some mid-side, whatever the case. So I hope you enjoy this. We'll see you on the other side. So let's bring up Pro Tools here. Yeah, what we have here is the 103 on top and then the C7. And the first thing that I would like to do, I haven't even listened to these yet. One nice thing in Pro Tools, I've got a great little plug-in here by QuietArt called the Falter. And I haven't really figured it out all that much. There's lots of videos on YouTube, I imagine, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get this thing to analyze that one track. So basically makes it a little bit louder and I'm going to clip gain the C7 up as well now the C7 as you can tell didn't need to be brought up as much as the 103 but when I did uh, set the preamps in my Apollo I noticed that the uh, C7 was a little bit hotter so whatever so let's have a listen here first thing we're going to do is we are going to listen to the uh, 103. Here we go. No, the C7. One thing that I noticed with that C7 is it had a lot more high end. I noticed that the 103 did have more of a, a mid-range sort of punch to it, which is great in some situations, uh, but I found a lot of times on the acoustic guitar, the C7 did great. Now, I also need to note that I didn't use a high pass filter on either one of these mics. They're just straight in. Now, normally I would high pass, but let's just have a little look here. Let's go to an EQ on the 
So let's have a look at the spectrum analysts of the 103. <laughs> So we're going to put this, is there a freeze on here? I think there is. Let's see what that does. Okay, so there we have the 103. Let's just pin that in place. And then we're going to take that analyzer and we're going to throw it down on the C7. And let's see, yep. Yeah. So that's still there, so that's nice. Let's click on this one, and let's play. Oop, what did I do here? Yeah, this is the 103. So let's put the 103 over here, and then we're going to put the C7 uh, maybe over here, and let's pin it into place, and we're going to play that same little bit. So now that I've played them both, on the left hand side we have the 10, or sorry, the C7, and on the right we have the 103. Um, I guess that this kind of would confirm a little bit what I heard was a little bit more bottom end. I mean, it's marginal. Who's going to say they can hear 20 hertz? I, I can't. But it does show that it was. Uh, having a little bit more on the 103 in terms of bottom end than the, than the C7. The C7 seems to peak a little bit more up around 74, 36 hertz and about 11,000 hertz. And it's a little bit lower there. But we're looking at the same guitar, same preamps, and the mic's in the same position for all intents and purposes. And the differences are marginal. You would probably notice it maybe in the mix when you go to EQ and stuff like that. And you can manipulate so much with modern DAWs, no matter what DAW you have, to get the sound where you want it and to accentuate or decentuate what you don't want. So there you go. There's a little look at the C7 by Mike Tech and the 103 by Neumann. Both really good mics. I love the Neumann. It's got a character to it for sure. And the C7 just seems to be, uh, I wouldn't say that it's not nothing special, but it just seems to capture what's there without giving it too much maybe a little accentuation on the high end so at any rate i hope you enjoyed this video this quick look uh, i'm not the wizard of oz when it comes to screen capture and all that stuff there's lots of great guys out there but for nashville x i wanted to do it for my folks out there so have a good new year and we'll talk to you soon take care